Hello and welcome to Cutter Builds. We're back with another episode of Planet Crafter and I've been uh, out here just gathering a little bit of sulfur ahead of uh, starting the episode today. And we came in over there and I noticed this cave here with all these pretty blue crystals. And so I thought we'd come in here. There was some sulfur. And would you look at that? We've got osmium, folks. I bet anything that... Uh, we could probably put a drill in here now where we've got uh, these and get osmium. This must be a uh, an osmium cave, I'm hoping. I don't know, but either way, even if we don't get a drill that I can put in here, I'm excited to be able to just run around and pick up the osmium. And if I just uh, fly up here, this cave goes on forever. There's so much stuff in here. I don't want to get lost, but uh, we're just taking a quick look around. This is a little bit different area, and we've got some uh, different glowing structures and stuff around here. Not structures, but crystals. I have no idea what this stuff is, but it glows. It looks really cool. Uh, but there's no osmium in this part of things, but this cave seems to go on for quite some ways, and I didn't want to explore this off camera, so we've grabbed the uh, start of the episode. A little bit of an awkward start here. And I'm going to get lost in here, I'm almost positive, which would be just horrible. We've not brought a lot of supplies with this. I do have one oxygen tank, so as long as I can figure out how to get back out of here, that'll be good. Where does this cave exit to? Okay, I have no idea what that is, but that's a lot of dust. I don't know if I want to uh, keep going this way. We're going to go back into the cave and kind of circle back around. I'm really, really hoping that I can find my way back out here. We've got a chest down here, though, which is uh, always good. We'll get the uh, a good stuff out of this. The oxygen is going to be a problem any minute now, though. In fact, right now I'm going to go ahead and use this and not take any chances. I'm positive our exit's back that way, but let's continue to follow this up and see where it goes. Um, wow, that uh, planet is huge here. And we just unlocked the tier 4 heater. Okay, well, I'm not sure where we are up here either, so let's head back into this cave again. And I'll continue to follow the other wall here. Hopefully back towards where we came into this cavern at now. Um, more goodies. I really don't need most of this stuff. The uranium's always a welcome, though. Keeping my eye out for any more crates or any lore items or anything crazy like that. We go back this way. This is where we were coming in originally, so I feel like this is where I could build a drill and get osmium. Uh, there's some sulfur and stuff. That's where we came into this at. Let me follow this around the other way. Pick up as much osmium as I can find on the ground, at least. We were just complaining about how we needed to find a source of osmium, so I'm excited to have found a bunch of osmium. Looks like I've got one more exit up this way. Oh, I know where we are. Awesome, so that cave does connect back to uh, where we found our initial osmium. Good deal. Well, we're going to refill the oxygen real quick and then take this as a not exactly shortcut back to the uh, base. Mostly because I want to see if we've missed anything else by going the opposite direction. I suppose I can pick up a few bits of this sulfur on the way. All right, well, good deal. I'm going to go get a, uh, a miner and bring it out here, and we'll see if we can uh, actually mine osmium now. Because if we can, that's going to take a huge uh, weight off of our mind because everything that we need to build for more advanced machines right now was requiring osmium, and we ran out. I have gotten the entire base now all moved over to the new structure. Unfortunately, our primary door is kind of on the opposite end of the base than what we need so we might have to add another door here soon but uh, before we worry about that let's get all of our components dumped off here 
we managed to find a bunch of uh, iridium rods when we went and found the anniversary uh, bunker. I did a special one-off video on that just before this video. So if we, uh, I'm not sure what order all of these things are going to get deployed in because that was, like I said, kind of a one-off video. But uh, go ahead and watch that if you want to see where the uh, bunker with the special birthday cake surprise for the one-year anniversary of Planet Crafter is located. All right, all of that is now uh, taken care of. We've got a few iron left in my inventory, unfortunately. Can't get rid of that. We need an ore extractor, so let's get the materials for that going. All right, let's uh, set this up right in the middle here. Should be a, a good test. We all put the stairs facing, well, which way is our entrance facing? Yeah, back kind of this way. And no, it's looking to bring in iron, unfortunately. Well, that's a bummer. Let me move maybe a little bit further in here. Let's see, this is not the way I wanted to go, but do we have, we have some uh, cool stuff in here. Yet another chest. Well, I guess I'm just gonna toss this thing down in another spot out here and see if it uh, gives me anything different. Nope, oh, still iron here. Let's keep going in. I wanna get closer to all of these uh, special funky uh, crystals. Maybe there's something different. Who knows? Who knows? And no, still iron. Well, so weird. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I got excited ahead of, uh, ahead of my time. No such luck on the Osmium mine, even though it very much looked like it should have been. Well, we better hurry back before our oxygen runs out. And uh, yeah, we'll keep searching for a place to mine Osmium. Either way, we've got enough of it now that we can uh, build some more machines. And we've got that new heater that we need to upgrade with. So we'll go uh, check that out. We're racing against the oxygen level here. I think we can make it back. We'll find out. I think it's actually going to be easier to go to the little shack over here because it's a straight shot. I'm going to be able to navigate it a little bit easier if I start running out. Ooh, that was close. All right, now back to the base we go. Let's see what it's going to take to build one of these uh, tier 4 heaters. I'm really excited to be bumping up into that next uh, category. Heat is one of those things that was feeling like it was starting to lag behind. Here we are, uh, explosive powder. Okay, so let's, uh, let me check here. What do I need again? <laughs> I need one explosive power per, I think I've got enough super alloy to build two of these maybe. So we'll build two explosive powders. And is this an inside or an outside? This looks like it's about to be an outside machine now. So let's head outside. That'll be nice and exciting. And we could probably start tearing down all of these miscellaneous drills now that we've got this a much bigger drill here. Um, I think the furnaces or the uh, upgraded, yeah, the heaters we're gonna put over here. Just trying to start moving things around a little bit. If I've slapped this guy down, oh my goodness, it's humongous. Look at that thing. So that is generating heat and pressure now, 538 heat. Let's go take a look at uh, what the indoor ones are generating. It's going to be much less than that is my guess. These are uh, 28. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and deconstruct these tier 3s. We're not going to need these anymore. And we did have enough to make a uh, second heater out there. I'm going to clean up my inventory a little bit. I think we're going to be able to make even more of these now that I'm deconstructing things. I think I'm getting some super alloys back potentially. So I'll make uh, one more of these explosive powders. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and jump over here. I'll toss one more of these down because uh, why not? We've got the materials. I don't know if we've got the power, but we'll give it a shot. 
Look at that, it's beautiful. And that's 35 pressure. What kind of pressure is this thing putting out? It's gotta be a lot more. Yeah, look at that. And it's doing a little bit of heat too, 459 pressure. So I probably need to clean up all these little guys and get another a big one going here soon. Lots to do, lots to do. I love that we're getting the upgrades. And so I'm going to head back in here. We've got a lot of inventory to sort out and clean up real quick so that I can finish tearing this stuff down. I was really disappointed that I couldn't uh, get osmium going, but that's all right. And I think I'm out of super alloy now. So if I want to do more, I'm going to have to build it myself. That's OK. We're going to go ahead and get the components to build three more super alloys. The joy of this is that I've got lots and lots of basic materials. So while it's mildly painful to have to bring all those individual materials over, the actual process of uh, making them is something we're capable of. A third heater, we've got the stuff for here, good deal. Let's go ahead and get a third heater running and then I'll tear down these drills and we'll see about building a uh, bigger a drill array with the tier four drills. I love getting everything upgraded here. And you can see our terraformation index is uh, ticking up rather quickly now. Oh, these need six super alloys total. Whoa, well, at least we got some osmium. Um, yeah, let's see if we get any super alloys back from the tier three drills, I can't remember. Nope, just basic components. That's okay, we'll get enough of these to convert into super alloy. Um, this is going to be a total of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So and we'll get uh, the missing components here out of the chest to make uh, six of these super alloys. It'll be awesome. Five, six. All right, I've got the super alloys. We've got an odd number of super alloys in my inventory because we had one left and we're trying to do everything as we move through the cycle here. We need some osmium. That's all right, we've got osmium now. So one, two, three osmium will make us one more of these big drills. So I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna move that out of the way. And I'm gonna put that big drill right here next to the other one. Uh, spin it around a little bit. Oops, so it looks cool. Just like so. All right, let's get the rest of these moved out of the way. And as long as we're back in the base here dumping materials, oh, we might as well build one more of these big drills. Just uh, balance things out. Then we'll have three big drills and three big heaters. Should work out nicely. We'll slap it down right there. Good deal. I'm actually kind of surprised that our power infrastructure is holding up as well as it is right now. And hopefully I can pick up these three materials we dropped. Yep. All right. So we have massively cleaned up the yard. Look at that. We're down to three big heaters, three drills. We've got three nuclear reactors here. At some point I can get rid of those uh, solar panels if we need to. And I've got three of these algae two collectors, one of the water collectors. Man, everything's just starting to come together here. Let's come in here now and uh, clean up the inventory a bit and look at where we're at on the boards. I've got a lot of excess iron and titanium now. We'll just dump it. We've got these miscellaneous uh, filler containers here on the end rows that are helping us out a lot. Um, it looks like heat is ticking up quickly now. Oxygen's also ticking up, and we're going to hit the moss stage in just a second. That should be uh, loads of fun. Don't know what that means, but there we are. And it added a new screen for a biomass. Well, we're going to have to check that out. And oh, look at that. We've got like mossy grass stuff on the hills. Oh, this is cool. Let's come over here and take a look at it. The planet's starting to get greener, folks. This is all going to uh, continue to grow and uh, yeah, we'll have grass in no time. I'm loving it. All right. Yeah, the landscape is looking so much more planet like now. Awesome. Well, let's go build this new screen that we just unlocked, although I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a different version of this screen right here, if I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, we're already using the flower spreaders. We're a ways away from beehives. But uh, this food grower's coming up faster than I think. Just going to look up here. We did get this green biomass. Okay, we'll get that going. We'll get that going. Um, I just want to check where we're at. We just got the heater tier 4. Get a tree spreader eventually. Nice. Got the drill. Nuclear fission in quite a while. Okay, not a big deal. Uh, we've already moved past this. A gas extractor is coming up next on the pressure side. Automatically extracts gas from the ground. That'll be interesting. And then we get into these advanced ore extractors, the rare ores. Oh, maybe I need to get to tier two before I can get osmium out of the ground. That would make sense. And then uh, I can pick with tier three. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're we're coming up on stuff then. We're uh, so close. Tree spreader. Well, we're going to be able to spread trees at some point. Nice. Displays information about rockets sent into orbit. Oh, that'll be a fun screen to unlock. Well, let's get this biomass screen going. Do, do, do. Iron, silicon, aluminum. Oh, that's all basic stuff. Biomass screen. Oh, it's a big screen too. Uh, let's see if I can squeeze it in here uh, doesn't look like it uh, where else can I put it I guess we could put it over here on this wall maybe that's an awkward spot for it maybe I'll move the screens over onto this big wall there it is very nice oh I didn't finish uh, deconstructing these we really don't need these little tiny ones got some asteroids coming down I'll have to go check and see if it's anything good all right so just a generic uh, meteor strike nothing big let's check the screen here I've got 105 kilowatts of power still available perfect I can't build any well I could build more heaters that's only super alloy and iridium I can't build any more drills that requires osmium so Let's see if I can uh, get a few more of these going and really push through. Uh, heat is the one that's going to unlock. Eh, nuclear fission's not honestly that big of a deal, but we could push through on that. Pressure's kind of fallen behind heat right now is my concern. That's why I was really hoping to get another one of these drills going. We would have to take down two ore extractors though to get more osmium i think we'd be better off just going out on a look for more osmium we've got a big need for it we are seeing the transformation stage really tick up here i'm surprised we're already at four percent i need some more oxygen though that's what i could really use so maybe what i'll do is toss down one more of these flower spreaders before we go on our adventure couple super alloy, couple fertilizer. I've got the fertilizer already made. Food level low. We've got lots of food. I've been uh, eating these beans. And I guess also, uh, if you didn't see the episode, we uh, the little mini uh, video I did, we got the wheat and uh, cocoa here from growing or from going to the uh, secret bunker. So we're going to be harvesting those. I've got one of everything except mushrooms and eggplants. I've got two of because we need two for the recipes that I use for that. And we've just been knocking that stuff out as we come across it, keeping uh, keeping things growing here. So we'll grab some fertilizer. I've got a bit extra made up because I knew we were going to be building some stuff with it. And I'm going to take it out here. Uh, actually, we need to grab a flower as well. Uh, and I want to grab the 400% flowers if I can to keep uh, keep things going. The oxygen multiplier is pretty epic on that. And we'll just uh, we'll keep this flowers growing around all of the equipment here. It looks uh, much prettier. I'm going to slap this down eh, right in here. Boom, just like that, and we're getting another 1.3 PPT of oxygen. Good deal. I'm going to make sure I have a bottle of water to bring with me, clean out the inventory, and I think it may finally be time to go on another adventure to see if I can find another source of osmium. I've decided if I want to go exploring... Ooh, there's moss inside the cave. That's kind of cool. 
uh, I decided that uh, if I'm going to just go explore a random area while we uh, wait for some stuff to tick up to see what I can find, that I've been really curious to continue past this uh, sulfur area and see what's over here. There's been some just crazy looking uh, clouds of dust over there that I wanted to check out. So I thought, eh, let's go do that while we're thinking about it. And we'll keep an eye out for any more materials that we may be uh, short on. There's just a lot of basic materials out here right now. And that just goes back to the sulfur area. Ooh, there's a chest, though. Always keeping an eye out for these chests. I did get the... Um, ooh, all kinds of good stuff. I did get the deconstructor tier 2 chip at some point and I don't know if I remember to build that so I need to go and do that here soon we've got lots of dust I wonder if this is just like a edge of the map kind of a thing to keep us from exploring further it's like super uh, dusty over here the flashlight is not helping oh we do have a cave here oh more osmium well sweet I'll take more osmium. We've got lots of sulfur down here, too. All right, all right. Well, let me uh, grab this stuff. Let's check the box. Oh, all of that stuff looks good. All right, I'm not going to deconstruct the box. Well, I could. I don't want to waste a spot on uh, iron in my inventory right now. I guess I've got four or five more slots here. We'll get uh, all of the osmium. Well, it looks like we're actually at the end of this cave. This was not as big of a cave as I expected. It's just a, a little cave with some osmium, which is awesome. Um, I don't really need that much more sulfur. I can get sulfur back where we're at. And do I have another cave here? That'd be cool. Nope. Just some miscellaneous rock formations. So much dust. I, I think they're just hiding stuff to make it hard on the uh, player. I would have never seen that uh, cave entrance from afar. That's a pretty clever thing for them to do. And here's a chest. Uh, let's see. All right. I don't need the iron. We definitely need super alloys. Ooh, fertilizer tier two sounds uh, valuable. And let's do this. I'm gonna eat the food. We're about to need the oxygen. Uranium's always welcome. Uh, we might as well drink the water. I've got an endless supply. Ooh, it's a 400% seed. I'd really like to bring that back. Let's get rid of one of the lesser ones. Get rid of both of the lesser ones. All right, we're good to go. Let's get back here now. We've used our oxygen. We've got to make a rush for it. And it looks like the uh, sulfur clouds might be dissipating here as the terrain changes. Hopefully that doesn't uh, limit our ability to mine sulfur in this area. I wouldn't think it would. I think that's all in the ground at this point. And I'm excited. We got another great source of, uh, uh, what do you call it, osmium here in our inventory. Not a ton of it, but enough to build a few more of these big drills, which is really what we're missing is trying to up our pressure values here a little bit. So let's get enough of our inventory kind of emptied out here that I can go build a, uh, another, what, two of these? I can build at least two of these if I get the uh, super alloys. So we're going to dump everything else and get it going. All right, I think we're good. We've got enough to do one more drill now. Hopefully this doesn't kill my power. I should probably build one more of those nuclear reactors after we do this, just to make sure we keep the power grid in a good spot. But there's that. These are using how much? 45 power. Let's go look at the monitor now. I've got, yeah, I'm down to 20 power, so I'm going to need more power if I want to be able to uh, keep pushing on this. And our pressure is now uh, ticking up, not as fast as our heat, but it is ticking up now, which is encouraging. And uh, yeah, I'm really curious to get to this gas extractor. That seems like the next big upgrade we're going to hit. But more importantly, I just want to get to these ore extractors. So whatever I can do to keep that pressure going up, which means uh, let's try and build a one more drill here. 
which means burning through a lot of materials. That's okay, we've got lots of materials to burn through. I could always head back out and uh, see if I could find some more super alloys up on the cliff, but that's a long haul and we've got the materials now. Everything in hand, let's do it. Oh wait, wait, stop. I needed to build power first. Uh, I need one more super alloy to do that. All right, power is, I've got all the stuff. We just pick up some water on the way out and then we'll place the drill. Boom. And power. And drill. Awesome. All right, things are looking up, folks. We found a lot of uh, osmium there, so look at all these drills. So with everything kind of growing here and our osmium problem in uh, check, really we kind of need a lot of uh, super alloys right now. So I am gonna head back over here onto the cliffs. I know there was a few spots that we managed to uh, miss the first time through on that. I really wish I could get just a little bit higher with this uh, jetpack. It would uh, make our lives so much easier, but we'll go back out and around, see if I can find a way up on top of the uh, cliffs again and look for any few bits of super alloy that I might have missed. I know there's at least one cliff system in here that I haven't gotten onto yet. This jetpack thing is uh, always scary to try and uh, leap those because if you misjudge, you fall all the way down. I wonder if I've gotten that chest down there. I think I've got to go around. That looks pretty skinny. The storm isn't helping me. There we go. Lots of super alloys. I like it. Um, we're running low on oxygen already. Unfortunate. That was my last bottle. I'm gonna take this bridge, I think, and see what's over there. I should have deconstructed that chest just so I don't get confused later on. Oh well. Lots and lots of super alloys. All right, I think I can get across this right here. Oh, I missed it. Drat. Oh well. We've been uh, doing good here. I can't really complain. I saw a chest down here somewhere though. I was gonna take a peek around, see if I could locate it. It was in one of these uh, caverns. I don't know where exactly. There's just so many uh, twists and turns down here that uh, I should have just jumped down from up there. I mean, it's not that I intended to come down here right now even though so we'll have to see if I can find it I'm not seeing it anywhere though is that a cave or just an awkward crevice it's more of an awkward crevice okay I'm running out of oxygen fast I think I've got a hut over here this is gonna be the fastest way back to the hut even though it's the farthest away from the base oxygen and that terraformation index is uh, ticking up still well, we made out great from a super alloy perspective. That's uh, 5, 10, 14. So let's get back to the base. Let's see what we need to make. We got lots of uh, stuff we can make. I've got more osmium, so I could uh, toss down another drill here. We've got the power for it and get that pressure arising here still. I think that's what we're continuing to be the most behind on at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about the massive amounts of super alloy we were just able to rein in. That's going to leave us enough super alloy to put two more drills down. And I think I've got the osmium to do it. One, two, oh, three. Oh, I've only got enough to do one more. Oh, well, it's still worth it. We'll slap it down eh, right over here, I think. What a bang. I could always put down another heater though. Let's do that. We've got all the materials on us, so we'll put it down right here on the end of the row. And look at that, plenty of power, 51. Yeah, we got plenty of power left. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's go look at the screens. Man, we've got so much, uh, so much going on now. Yep, power's good, 209. Heat is ticking. 
pressure's ticking up faster now, and even the oxygen's ticking pretty good. We're about to get to one PPM, I believe, when this uh, ticks over to 100, or maybe not. I don't know how that works. Uh, heat is going, no problemos. Pressure's going to get us to this gas extractor, which is, I think, our next big limiter. I am looking forward to the tier 2 food grower at some point here. It should just grow the food faster, meaning we'll likely need less of them, although that reminds me. We need to uh, go empty our feed. All right, well, I am looking through the uh, list of things that we could build more of to keep things going. It looks like plants is one of the things that we could really use some more of uh, uh, ticking up, and these flower spreaders are actually pretty good at plants and pretty easy to build. It's just fertilizer, super alloys. I could uh, do something else here. What's this? This is 11 per second. This is 43. Yeah, let's do the uh, flowers. Uh, oh no, water. So I've got uh, some of our flowers. We're gonna grab some water and I'm just gonna keep tossing these down in between all the other machines. I don't know why, but I kind of like that they're in a field of flowers. Kind of helps make it a little bit less uh, industrial. And we'll just toss one more down right there. Boom, look at that. So now we've got uh, two more big oxygen creators with a little bit of plants, 43.5 grams per second. If I come over here, what is uh, this thing doing for plants? 23 grams per second. Yeah, we're, we're better off putting down more of these flower spreaders. Let's take a look here. I was going to move these screens. I really would like to get the... Um, this screen next to the other screen. Let's move these over onto the other wall real quick. That way I can have my whole command center here all in one place. I'm gonna put them in order. And overall progress, like so. There we go, now I can see everything. We're cranking towards the next stage of flora here. I'm uh, fascinated, we're already at 31%, a good deal. The oxygen rate is going to hit that 100 uh, mark pretty soon, and uh, that'll be good. We've built all of the upgrades that we can across the board here now. I'm just double-checking all the things. And so let's go through the list here. I've got the biodome, the biolab. We've got ore extractors. I guess I haven't built these two. They just seem like... Uh, breaks down objects into core components. It just sounds like this is stuff that is accessory destroys objects i mean i guess i do have a rule of uh building one of everything so we'll probably go ahead and build these this is uh, super alloy and deconstructor chips do i have that many super alloys left i do not uh how about this one i can build the shredding machine let's do that I don't think we need the shredding machine but let's see if we can uh, slap it down here somewhere um Hmm, maybe I'll put it right here for now. There we go. Open shredding machine. Uh, water bottle. Destroy contents. It does exactly what it says it would do. That uh, doesn't seem entirely useful, at least not right now. So I'm going to take that back <laughs> before uh, something bad happens. And uh, recycling machine might be more interesting. I think this is literally just going to, like if I needed to get to the raw materials for explosive powder, for example, or a super alloy, I could uh, toss it in here and it'd spit out the other components. I don't think that's really that useful for me right now. Um, so I'm not gonna uh, waste the resources building that. Um, well, okay, we'll do it. All right, this thing, I don't even know where to put this thing. I'll put it right over here along this wall. Just like that. Open recycling machine. Uh, sure, let's put uh, a super alloy in there. Push the button. Yeah, it just spits out the components that it was made from. Again, interesting machine. I'm not sure it's incredibly useful. Um, and it's taking some energy, whatever, we'll keep it in there for now. Just because I don't want to have to store the chips. Um, uh, okay. Well, that's enough goofing off. Oh, let's get this stuff all stored up. I don't have enough uranium if we wanted to make more power. 
but I don't really need more power at the moment, so I feel pretty good there. I'm going to store explosive powder in with the iridium, I think. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, consolidate down some miscellaneous stuff here. We've got some more bioplastic nuggets when we need them. We've got some more fertilizer when we need them. It's just a nice to have things on hand and ready to go when you want to use them. Get another one of these in our inventory. We've got lots of rocket engines. Maybe I'll take one. Uh, we already looked at the rockets recently. We didn't have anything else that we could do with the rockets, really, because we're waiting on, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, super alloy rods, which is going to require an upgrade here. Right here, super alloy rods don't come for a little while down the line here, so manipulates DNA to create new genes. That sounds interesting. Man, we've got lots of uh, stuff to go here. And I'm just looking pressure. This is our next big thing, this gas extractor here in a little bit, but it's going to take us a minute to get there. We really just need more, more. Well, we're going to tick over here to uh, 100 MPA, so I figured that we'd check out this gas extractor here real quick. There it is. That's a lot of energy, 58 energy. Luckily, I've got just enough for that. And it's going to need this zeolite, which we haven't uh, located it yet. My goodness. All kinds of new stuff. So that's the second thing I've seen uh, that needs zeolite. Was it also the deconstructor tier 2? It was. So uh, let's see, let's see. We need to figure out where this zeolite is, our next new material. All right, well, a quick Google search tells me that I am probably just a little bit too early stage in the game to get uh, that material. The... A zeolite we need to get into the next stage of the game most likely i'm not gonna worry about it too much right now we uh probably just need to go do a little bit more exploring around the map at this point we've gotten uh, a huge upgrade to our base done and we've gotten lots and lots of tier four components going we got a lot of these flower spreaders going and quite honestly our terraformation index is uh ticking up rather nicely so let's uh, take the win and uh, wrap up the episode here. I think we'll be back next episode, probably with a full-on exploration episode. We haven't been around the map as much as I'd like to. I mean, we've covered a lot of it, but I feel like there's more to see, more to do. So we'll go find an area that we haven't been to yet and just uh, go exploring. We'll bring some uh, materials with us. We've got lots of uh, water, food, and uh, oxygen available now, so it's really not a problem to get anywhere we want to go at this point. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, hit that like button. helps me out a lot. That's all for today. Ketterk, out.